it's Alyssa from Rumwise. I am coming to you from a hot, sticky summer day in Rome. What should you pack? How should you dress when you're sightseeing in Rome? What should you wear when you're visiting the Vatican? In this video, I'm gonna tell you what to pack when you're visiting Rome in summer. And I'm gonna include two things that you should definitely not leave home without. So, ready? Here we go. What should you pack when you visit Rome in summer? Here are three things to consider. The first is how you're getting to Rome. If you're coming by plane, you might have weight and luggage restrictions, so this is gonna keep you from overpacking. The second is what time of summer are you coming? If you're coming at the very beginning or end of summer, so mid-June or mid-September, these are kind of what we call shoulder season, and you probably would wanna consider bringing a, a light rain shell, perhaps a cardigan, because you're crossing from either spring into summer or summer into fall. If you're coming in the really hot summer months, you don't have to worry about that. The third thing to consider is if you plan to visit other parts of Italy besides Rome, so the beach, the mountains, or even any other city that has some kind of different climate from Rome. Guys, they say you have to suffer for your art, so <laughs> I am purposefully standing in the heat in the middle of the day in the hottest part of summer to show you what it's like to be in Rome in summer. It's hot. This is what you can expect when you visit Rome in summer. So mid to high 30s, that means high 90s, very, very hot during the day, like now, see me sweating. Um, and at night, it's gonna be in the 20s, which is around high 70s. Hey, and if you haven't already done so, come on over to the website and check out my dedicated Rome by month pages. So I've got Rome in June, Rome in July, Rome in August, Rome in September. You're gonna find lots of information about what you can expect in Rome each of those months, along with a more detailed packing list. By the way, I also have a page about how to keep cool in summer, a little bit of that which we'll go over in this video. One thing you should know about visiting Italy is that Italians have a different philosophy about air conditioning than we uh, North Americans do. Many Italians believe that air conditioning is not good for you, that it causes some health ailments uh, like neck pains. So you may not find air conditioning as strong as you're used to or as you want it. You might find that a lot of shops and restaurants will have the AC on, but it'll be very low, and then they keep the doors and windows open, presumably to let some fresh air in, uh, also to attract customers. Some taxi drivers may not have it on. You can ask them to turn it on. Uh, you maybe should ask this before you leave because some taxi drivers might even refuse. <laughs> so you might not want to get in the car with them if they will not turn on the AC. The reason that I mentioned this in a video about what to pack when you visit Rome is that you probably don't need a cardigan or a parka <laughs> uh, to visit inside some place. I'm from Florida and after years of living here in Italy, whenever I go back to the States, I often find myself shocked to go into a shopping mall or a restaurant and I forgot to bring some sort of winter attire with me, despite it's being summer because the AC is set to freezing, which is just something you're not gonna find here. Okay, so back to what to pack when you visit Rome in summer, plus those two things you should not leave home without. The first thing you need to consider packing are the most comfortable walking shoes you have. Preferably open toe. I love open toe shoes in Rome in summer, but closed toe shoes are fine as long as they're comfortable and probably cotton something light. Shoes you should really not consider bringing with you are shoes you haven't broken in before and flip-flops, very flimsy shoes. So flip-flops, uh, believe it or not, I have seen flip-flop carcasses all over Rome in summer. These are not sturdy shoes. They're not great for walking on these really difficult uh, cobblestone basalt roads that we have. And you're gonna do so much more walking than you think. So flip-flops are just really not sturdy enough for the kind of sightseeing that you're gonna do in Rome. This being said, I know from seeing it around Rome, I know from experience, people do love to bring flip-flops. By all means, bring them, especially for if you decide to visit the beach at the last minute or a short walk. Just know that if you wear them around Rome, you are gonna need at least one, if not two, backup pairs because they are just not really sturdy enough for the kind of sightseeing you're probably gonna be doing in Rome. You've probably been seeing people walking around behind me, shorts, tank tops, t-shirts, uh, sundresses, uh, cargo pants, cargo shorts, etc. One thing you want to walk around Rome with, whether you pack it or just buy it here, is a water bottle. 
I like having my own. You can also buy these collapsible water bottles, which are great for packing because they roll up, they don't weigh very much, and you can take them with you everywhere. Okay, and this is really cool here by the Coliseum. You've got these machines put out by Acea, which is the water company here in Rome. So you can uh, pick your amount and it'll just fill up your bottle there. Nice cold water, clean water. This is still water. They also have fizzy water. And there's another one over by the Metro. Something that I always walk around Rome with are these little packets of mineral salts. I buy them here at the pharmacy. You can bring them from home. They are great for pouring into your water and creating a kind of Gatorade type drink. Some other pharmacy or drugstore purchases, either before you leave home or even here in Rome, include sunscreen, even bug spray, and these great little cloths, which I just love. They're multi-use cleansing cloths. Uh, they're moist, they are sanitized, so they're great for uh, cleaning your hands if you don't have any hand sanitizer with you, just cooling down, wiping the sweat off, <laughs> but they are always handy to have when you're walking around Rome in the summer. Okay, as promised, what are the two things you should definitely not leave home without when you're visiting Rome in summer? The first thing is a hat. <laughs> I really should have been wearing this the entire time I've been filming for you because my head has been exposed to the sun and that means I'm absorbing a lot of heat, which is actually pretty dangerous. So having a good hat is really important when you're sightseeing outside in Rome in summer. Yes, you can buy hats here. You're gonna see these hat sellers selling hats all around Rome in the summer, but you really should, in my opinion, invest in a quality hat that has sunblock, uh, something that really, really protects your head. Those two and four euro straw hats are really not gonna do much for you in this heat. Okay, and the second thing that you should definitely bring to Rome when you visit in the summer is a scarf. This is my scarf. It's in its own little bag to keep it from getting uh, snagged in my bag, in my purse. But it's absolutely a must when you're visiting Rome in the summer. I've got tank top on, or actually it's a dress, because it's really hot and I can't wear a shirt with sleeves. It would be really, really hot. But to visit churches, to go into any holy site, you're gonna have to have covered knees, midriffs, and shoulders, and a scarf is the perfect way to do that. So speaking of visiting churches, how are you supposed to dress when you visit the Vatican? Really when you visit any holy site, catacombs, any church, a mosque, a temple, you should have covered knees and covered shoulders and covered midriffs. It's about modesty. Of course, dressing like that in summer can be uh, uncomfortable. So you're gonna want to have something that you can put over your shoulders or your knees when you visit these places. Usually when you're visiting the Vatican, it's a planned visit, but sometimes you're out and about and you just wanna pop into a church, that's why having a scarf is useful. To visit the Vatican specifically, the catacombs, anything related to the Vatican, the Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's tomb, you're gonna to wanna to have something that covers you and make sure that you are uh, appropriately dressed to enter these sites. They will not let you in. So if you're dressing like this to go around, just make sure you have something to cover your shoulders. For your knees, uh, knee length, capri pants, dresses, skirts, um, loose shorts, etc. those will work. You might also consider those pants, those hiking pants that have the zip out bottom, that can be a great option as well. You may want to bring a bathing suit. I know you might not have planned to visit the beach, but I've seen so many people visiting Rome in summer and deciding at the very last minute that they need to find a pool or a beach, especially when they're visiting with kids. So pop a bathing suit into your bag. You are definitely going to want to bring your favorite really polarized sunglasses with you. Pro tip, if they are prescription like mine, don't forget to come to Rome with a copy of your prescription in case you lose your sunglasses. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video all about what to pack when you're visiting Rome. Come on over to the website. I've got pages about every month in Rome. So Rome in June, July, August, September. I've got a whole page about what to pack when you visit Rome for all the seasons. Lots more detailed suggestions there. Hit that like button below and subscribe and we will see you at the next video. Ciao for now.